Bertie running on the biodiesel. Bertie from waste chips back. Bertie running on the biodiesel. Bertie. So here we have some half full containers and Kieran there is about to lift the full 25 litres. It's quite heavy isn't it? So it's quite difficult to put it into the spout for your average person. So uh, yeah, I'm going to have to... Um, oops, there we go. Is that spinach already? Oh dear me, we'll start that again. Um, so I'm going to unscrew this container and the lid. Here we have a special spout that we got from eBay. I think it was like 10 quid or something. So this is going to go into the top here this cloth because it by diesel does literally go everywhere so that's going to go around and screw into the top of the lid here I'm going to do that nice and tightly the thing is it does leak it unfortunately does leak a little bit so um, I've got this little catch here so this catches it as it comes out and then I'll pour it back in I've been making a few puddles Ooh, clever luckily, I like that luckily Catcher. the stuff is quite inert um, so it, it's not as flammable as petrol. If you put a cigarette lighter or a cigarette into a, a load of petrol, the whole thing will explode. But apparently, if you put a cigarette into diesel or biodiesel, it, it won't. It will just a cigarette will just go out. So don't feel so bad about it. And it is biodegradable because it is biodiesel and not fossil fuel diesel. But still, you know there is that. So I'll open this up. Actually, I'll put this. I'll put this on our handy little table here. And then this is going to go into that. This is an embarrassing bit where I might just spill it everywhere, but hopefully it should be okay. So I'm going to put that in there. This is quite a light container because there's only 10 kilos of it in there. Good job. It's guzzling in there nicely. Bird. Bird. So is it possible to get a bad batch of filtered diesel? A biodiesel? Um. Well, we get it from this place in Bristol that we trust. You can get home brewed by diesel as well, but the quality can be variable, so you don't really know how good it will be for your engine and what's going to happen. Hmm. Um, they say that you shouldn't store it for longer than about six months. I think after about six months it tends to go off or so. Or so it does have a shelf life? Yeah, it sort of does have a shelf life. Hmm. I don't know how definitive that is. Hmm. You, can, um, you, should, you should avoid trying to get, it, get any water in it or getting it too exposed to the air. Yeah. I guess you'd know quite quickly if there's a problem as well. Yeah, that you'd you would. hear the sound of the engine struggling. <laughs> you would. But just you know, a drop of water in it doesn't do any harm. Okay. If, if you leave the cap off and a couple of drops of water get in it, it should be fine. It'll mm. just get burned off in the engine. Bert. Bertie. Bertie. Running on the biodiesel. Bertie. From waste chips back.